On May 1st, 2002, Bethesda Game Studios released The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind, which won Game of the Year for the year 2002 in North America. On March 20th, 2006, Bethesda Game Studios released The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, which won Game of the Year in 2006 in North America. On October 28, 2008, Bethesda Game Studios released Fallout 3, which won Game of the Year for the year 2008 in North America. By this point, lead game designer Todd Howard was being hyped up by the press as being the only American game designer in history to win three consecutive Game of the Year awards for his games. In 2011, Todd Howard solidified his legacy even further when Bethesda Game Studios released The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, which once again won Game of the Year for the year 2011 in North America. He had already set a record for three consecutive Games of the Year, a feat which had previously been accomplished only by video game legend Shigeru Miyamoto. And now Todd Howard had done it for the fourth time in a row. In 2015, Todd Howard and Bethesda Game Studios released Fallout 4. However, while Fallout 4 was good, for the first time in five games, it did not win Game of the Year. Not because the game itself was mediocre, but because another game was released that same year that was even better. That game, the game that broke Bethesda's streak, is the game I am playing today. What's up guys, Acer Thorn here, and welcome to my new Let's Play. I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains, rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will 
to fight this war in our stead? Nigh is the time of madness and disdain. Huh. <sighs> Okie dokie. Let's get this party started. That was actually a... I wouldn't say that it rivals Dragon Age Origins' opening cinematic. But it's pretty damn good. Alright, let's do this. Uh, Hearts of Stone... Main storyline quests for the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt are disabled. Gerald's gear and level are suitable for the quests of the Hearts of Stone expansion. Okay, let's let's do this a... Uh, let's do this with a fresh start. Just the story, story, and sword, blood and... You're a seasoned... Okay. Enjoy a smooth ride through the world. You're happy to be challenged. Hmm. Okay, so let me just start on the easiest difficulty, and let's progress from there. Show tutorials, yes. Simulate Witcher 2 save. I never played Witcher 2. Hmm. More into being cinematic, it looks like. Alrighty. <clears throat> Didn't exactly establish the main conflict, though. Not as much as I was hoping. Oh, look at this. Um, I feel like that opening that cutscene was telling me about game mechanics. 
You like, kind of like how, oh, look at this, is that, is he gonna nibble on my balls? Is, or is he just gonna give me a scorpion blowjob? The, you know I don't find that amusing. Oh. Just a prank pulled on by somebody. Oh. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Mm. See you later. Oh, okay, so she's my wife. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna have to censor that. Okay, now she's finally got her clothes on. Not that I don't mind seeing that. It's just, I'd like this channel to one day get monetized, you know? Additional content has... Anyway, ugh. Anyway, as I was about to, as I was saying, I feel like that opening cutscene was teaching me stuff about the game mechanics. Like the way that guy like the way that crow launched itself into that guy's eye, or how Ger this guy, Gerald, noticed the broken branch on the tree, I and realized that that was important somehow, and how that other chick had scooped up some dirt from the ground and threw it back down to the ground and it exploded. I feel like those are that was meant to show me some of the game mechanics of this game. Some things that are going to be important later. Minimap and objectives. Yeah, game, I can pretty much figure that... Imagine that for myself. Witcher senses. Hold LT for Witcher senses. Look for highlighted objects. Hmm. Um... Oh, I could put the candles out. Ex you're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Uh. Let's uh examine. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Extinguish. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is basically the general interact with the game map. Ob uh, controls. Jump. Huh. Okay, that gold bar in the top left corner Shit. is going down when I Mountain jump. Pass as beautiful as ever. Okay, 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 gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And, uh... Okay, so I got a nice house. Got a nice expensive house. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive. Not to mention unreasonable. Damn, she's fine. Uh Alright, let's go see her, Siri. <sighs> yeah. Better go see Siri. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. 
What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Nice. Nice. All right, now. Wait. Um. How how do I sprint? Okay, this looks like the hotkeys. I can't, can I not? Do I jump down? Dead. Dead. Oh. Load most recent save. Okay, some wraiths and other monsters can take on an immaterial form in order to attack them. You must force them into material form by casting Iridin or throwing Moon Dust Bomb. Oh, is that what that chick was doing when she was picking the dirt up off the floor? Ugh. Yeah, shut up, game. Shut up, Shit. game. Mountain pass as beautiful as ever. Ugh. Okay, how do I... How do I get down? Um... Oh, here's a door. I'll just go open the door. Lock. Keep required. Ugh. Ugh. Get, get over there. Get, get. Up. Quest updated. To unlock doors, walk up to them. Okay, so I picked the key up off the ground. Up off the table. There we go. There we go. You cannot do that now. I'm pressing the RT. I'm pressing right trigger right now. Uh. Just walking down the. Okay, cutscene time. Hmm. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Series disappeared somewhere, of course. So, Series, my daughter? Siri is. Uh, yeah, who exactly is Siri? My apprentice? She prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake up, Master. These okay. This lesson's so boring they put you to sleep too. Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. Uh. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? She's my pupil. So apparently Siri's my pupil. How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice. She'll get to practice. Um... Have we been spoiling her? I have no idea how Gerald is supposed to reply in this. Let's, uh, I'll go with this. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her? I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Oh. Okay. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Who? She's pretty good. Oh, look at that. Nice. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Yeah, circus in Wrong. medieval times. Footwork. 
Enough. Get down. Will you flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. Whoa! You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any Striga. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Um... Is she my daughter or my pu just my pupil? Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Um... Okay, now this one is a lot easier, because it says begin tutorial and skip tutorial, so I'm gonna select this one. Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? <laughs> Maybe if you fall. And hey, 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 hey! Okay, what the hell? How is that? I pressed it. I pressed the A button there. That. That should have happened. I should have just climbed up that. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. What? There we go. And down. I assume down here. And okay, wonky, wonky L stick. Run into trouble. Should I turn back and help you? Uh, shut up, bitch. It's hard to tell what my relationship is to Siri, though. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, we. Legs are longer. I'll show you yet. Just need to grow a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, Vesemir's got that look. When I what grew up, when I got, when I finally grew up, I started coveting a slightly different type of size. A size you'll never covet. Uh. Okay, who are Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young Uncle? blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Won't weasel out of that. I couldn't say... Could have said you did the exercise while Vesemir was asleep. Uh... Okay, so that's... She's a... That's her, her uncle, but who am I to her? Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Huh. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. 
Alrighty. Now we get to learn how to fight. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's review the fundamentals, because I'm a total newbie. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Huh, she was doing acrobatics with a blindfold on. That's a novice work? Wow. Draw your sword, Geralt! Combat. Are there swords? One steel, one for for fighting humans and non-humans. The other silver for slaying monsters. Hmm. Uh, how do I split? Sprint. Okay, hold down A to sprint. Witcher senses B to jump. Um. There we go. Left on the D-pad to draw the sword. To select a target. Um. Quick cuts. One, two, three. Mount a fast attack. Uh, pr pressing X. A strong attack. Okay. And. Err. Position, Siri. Put work. Remember. And you. Uh, to dodge one side, left or right on the L stick, and then press B. Oh. Oh, hello. And... To roll out of the way... Oh, okay. And... What now? I'm training Siri tomorrow. Harry. Siri, see how Geralt holds his sword to the tangle. And... Come here. Pretend now, live later. Repost! Strike! Just press LT just before your opponent strikes to perform a counterattack. Okay. Wait for Vissimir to attack. Who's next? And... Okay, there when I actually timed it on my own. Ah, oh, I timed it again. Day to a close. We'll go Press LB to open the quick sign. access menu. Let's start with Quinn. Let's start with... Quinn. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And... Oh, need to, okay. Pre to cast, press RT. Siri, Quinn is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Oh. Protects you from damage in certain critical hits. Cannot do that now. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. Cast Igni. Oh, wait, hang on. Well, and, cra and to cast your sign. See? If not for the Quen sign, damn it! And fired the Igni oh, deals Geralt, fire damage. On. Um, Igni deals fire damage. See that, Siri? Hard will knock anyone or anything off. I couldn't read that. Uh, stuns opponents. Damn it! I hate this feeling. Huh. To cast your active sign at him? Let's see... What is... Uh, Axie can really muddle your mind. Disorienting. Well, that's... Huh. Heard it now. Show her, girl. Ow. Move if I wanted to. Oh, that slows anyone who enters Close the area of effect. Don't worry, Siri. Quinn will dampen the blow. Um, LB. Quinn. Select a bomb. Stat. 
step back and throw a bomb at Fist Simier by pressing RB. Okay, so RB does the is the grenade button. Stand in the spot indicated on the mini map. Okay, got okay. Let's see what this does. RB, hold RB and aim for the highlighted training posts. And then press and then throw the bomb. Um. Wee! Boom! Free training! I just dropped the controller! Okay. Sorry, that didn't happen. I'm a doofus. If you want, you can continue training with Vissimu. To stop training, sheath your sword by holding left or right on the D pad. Continue training at will. Alrighty. I'm gonna do some free training off screen. Nice. Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. Um. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri? Um. Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Oh. Oh, okay, so the first actual quest after the tutorial is going to be for me to actually go and rescue her. What the? What is he noticing? Doesn't look weird. Okay, that just came out of nowhere!